once he selects a category from like whatever we have fruits vegetables and meat we should be able to display him some more options like in fruits we can show him apples bananas okay in vegetables we can show him tomatoes and broccoli pumpkin and cabbage and in meat we can show him chicken fish and other categories for that using this particular input we should be able to display him some more options to do that let's go with switch here is the switch you can drag it and if you see there's a default to it and we can add if I just go back to the properties of it it expects an expression which is of int because here the type is int if I just change this and now see hit string right now the input okay what we are going to do right now is from this whatever we have the output we are sending it to this choice so this will have it can have fruits vegetables are uh, meal in it okay then de let's define the cases if choice is equal to fruits take care of the uppercase and lowercase here f is uppercase and every v is uppercase and m is uppercase right so choice fruits when he selects fruits Let's display some other options. Here we are. Similarly, here we can just copy fruits and you can copy this particular text from here and paste it. And if I just go to this, let's provide him with some options. I'm creating an array which will contain apple then banana then grapes okay so this is the set of options that we want to provide to the user he will be able to choose this particular fruits if he chooses here the fruits option similarly what we can do is we can create it for vegetables and meat right here I have tried just to save your time I have tried to create it for vegetables and meat in vegetables we have few options like cabbage broccoli pumpkin and tomato in meat we have similar options like chicken and fish so what's exactly happening here so whenever user provides some input He'll be given a choice to choose from fruits, vegetables and meat and the choice will be saved into this choice variable and this variable we are passing on to switch case where the input is switch. If switch is equal to fruits, he'll be shown this options and then he'll be shown this options. Okay, based on that, let's create a variable right here. variable called in recipe so you can just create it as recipe enter and if I just use a message box right here and give the name recipe and run it let me use a breakpoint right here so that you will be confident about what's happening inside it. I place this and I'm trying to debug it right now. Debug. As you can see, it has just started. Okay, fine. Just a minute. So it is going to the other files because 
we have clicked on we have to be clicking on run file okay debug current file okay we have reached to this input dialog box and we have stopped there let's click on step into now we have got a prompt asking for the details let's select fruits and click on ok so right here we are we have selected fruits and passing on step into see we have reached to this particular block because we have selected fruits if i have selected vegetables it would have gone to this particular block and step into there is an another user input apples ok and then step into here we have the answer apples this recipe has come from this particular input dialog box recipe similarly you can provide the same variable to this input dialog box too so we are done with this particular module where we are trying to take the input from the user